Hello, welcome back. Um, okay, so the code, I had one extra bracket in here, so that was a syntax error. Um, I can't use circle lists as I had hoped, so I had to rename it to mini circle lists. And I might have noticed I used max instead of min, so that, that caused some um, indexing errors which took a little while to work out, a little longer, and after all that, we have this. Oh, it's a little slow, it's a little slower than what it was before, because it's recording, so <laughs> you can see my CPU, yeah, going full blast. Okay, and and this isn't 2000, I tried 2000, it was, it just, it was like one frame a second or worse, this is 1000, so if we make it go down in steps. 800, how's it go with 800? Yeah, that, that's better. That's still not top frame rate, that's still 100% CPU. So we'll see what what number we can take it down to. See, that, that's that's more like it. That's, that's a decent frame rate. <laughs> still 100% CPU. What, what? Like even 200, is that 100% CPU? No, 200 is not. But <laughs> it's nearly... It might as well be. Okay, okay, so... I suppose JavaScript isn't the best language for this kind of thing. But it looks cool. Like, it, it, I'm not sure how you would get this kind of anti-alias and all that stuff in C++ and whatever. Mm. It's pretty sweet. I like it. You get these kind of chains forming. It, there's like certain distinct patterns. It's it's all random though. All their positions and directions and sizes are random. Like all this is deterministic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't use random anywhere. Apart from the initial setup, so <laughs> this is a a good sort of example of chaos. Chaos everywhere, so you change something a bit and I'm sure you won't get anything nearly the same. So like change one piece somewhere else and after like a minute they will look completely different. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I hope you're seeing it at the frame rate I see it at. Which probably won't be. I, c I can check. Yeah, your frame rate is going down. Which might mean the audio is getting out of sync and stuff. Oh man. That would suck. Oh well. But here we go. Um, and this, well, you can see this. Let's try it without. So see how badly it performs. <laughs> see how much better this was. See if this is like worth it at all. Like I'm sure it's always worth it. But so if we make the grid like just one big box, I'd say that's about four times faster. What if we have even more squares? So let's crank it up to 20. See what that does. 20 compared to 10. Is there any difference? Let me just remember this frame rate. I should be outputting the frame rate, really. But whatever. Not much difference. Okay. Hmm. Well, it was an improvement by a factor of like three or four, so that is definitely worth it. If your thing is going at ten frames per second, you can bump it up to forty, which is which is a good step, uh, something worthwhile. And yeah, in games, you need every bit of optimization you can get. Yeah. Well, uh, how long have I been going on about this? Uh, a few minutes. All right. Um. Yeah, I'll just bring it down so we get a bit of a better frame rate. Maybe it make the world a bit smaller so we've still got that congestive kind of thing going on. What's half size? Half the thing. Whoa! <laughs> that's a difference and that's kind of ugly. Back to 200. Yeah. They seem more jittery. 
for some reason. I wonder why. I guess I guess it's like per square pixel there's more circles than before. So that more of them are getting pushed into the corners and causing that jumpy effect. Because, yeah, when they get pushed outside of each other, it'll get pushed out and then it gets bumped back in. Yeah, it's a unstable position to be in. Hmm. Um, just so you know, I'm not planning to do any more. Like, this is... This is cool, I like this. I'm happy to leave it here for today. So, uh, the rest of the video is just gonna be this. So you can watch it if you want. But, if you're not interested, you may as well stop. So, I uh, guess, thanks for watching. <laughs> Whoa, loud noise. Go away. I'll just start processing. Oi, shit. I mean, bad word. Encode. Go. Yeah. How professional of me <laughs> showing what I'm doing in the video. <laughs> oh, that's the point. Yeah, this, this thing is... Uh, I've been watching a few Let's Plays recently on YouTube, and it's, it's a lot of fun watching other people play and have them commentate what's going through their mind, get see them get frustrated and all that stuff. And I figured, hey, why not do the same thing for making something? Making. So it's this is a Let's Make. A Let's Make LM. Let's Make Collision Detection Optimization Algorithm. <laughs> um, if you know what else I could be doing to make it more efficient, please tell me. I'd love to know. Not not that I need to know or whatever, it's just it's good to know this sort of thing. In case whenever. And if you have any ideas on like stuff to make this look cool or whatever. Extra bits and pieces that won't fry the CPU, sure. Tell me about it. I might do it. If you can convince me it's awesome enough. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's like bubbles. Because bubbles behave this way. Because their velocities are always like upwards. I mean, they do get pushed out, but it's just the upwards velocity is so strong. They just keep going upwards in this fluid kind of thing where they can... Yeah. And... So it's like that, except the bubbles are going in all sorts of directions instead of just up. So, yeah. Pretty trippy. If they go faster, what does it look like? I don't know how much time do we have left. Oh. Don't have long left. Faster, 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 you go faster, you go faster, let's put this back to 4. Oh yeah, change the size, I forgot to tell you about that. Not that it matters. Mm. Nah, nah. Let's go back. Let's see what really slow looks like, although it'll probably just be too slow and boring. Maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad. You sort of get more opportunity to see the shapes and yeah, it's nice chain and stuff. Yeah, I, I like the speed. I just keep track of how much time I have left so I know when to stop. Yeah, I like the speed way better, way more. It, it seems to be more clumped together, though I could, I wouldn't know why that would be. It, it should be just exactly the same as far as I could tell, as far as I can think, like, it'd just be as if time slowed down, as far as I know. 
Hmm. Oop, over, over time. Okay, so that's all you get. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.